Good morning, uh, welcome to my channel. My name's Kim um, and this is my channel, Finding My Style. If you're a new subscriber, a very warm welcome. Uh, and if you're a returner, I really appreciate you coming back. Um, this morning's video is gonna be um, a get ready with me. I look like Scary Mary. <laughs> And funny enough, my first name is Mary, but I go by Kim, because that's my middle name. I don't know why, but that's just what my mum and dad did when I was younger. Thank God. Um, but if your name's Mary and you've grown up with it, that's different. Um, but it, as I say, to get ready with me, makeup, um, I'm having my hair done today. So I'm uh, looking forward to that. It's been eight weeks. So um, I really enjoy uh, a hair appointment now. I'm going to scrape all my hair back off my face to start with. Um, right, the, I've already primed um, and I only use primer with some certain foundations and I'll use it with this one. So I've used Estee Lauder Watery Glow Prime. I wouldn't say it's brilliant, but I bought it, so I've got to use it. Um, so this is the Intelligent Foundation by number seven. It seamlessly adapts to skin tone, sheer coverage. Now it says sheer, but I think it's quite a good coverage. And that's that one. Um, I love the smell of it, actually. It's got a really nice smell. It's got a lovely texture. And I went for the fair light. So um, I think it's one of them foundations that you can't go wrong with, really. So I'll get some out like that. Um, if I need any more, I can put some more on. I've never done anything like this. Well, I've, I, the reason I'm doing this as well is because um, I did um, a live with Ariane Poole, the makeup artist. Um, I don't know if some of you, uh, you will know her. Um, she's Canadian, but she's been in this country for five years, uh, 20 years, I think she said. Um, so... Uh, and she, uh, I did a live with her. That was my second live that I'd ever done with her. So I'm just patting the foundation in. I've got a mirror here. Um, and I don't like anything too heavy either. This is okay to go across your eyelids. Let's just check I've blended it in. I use a magnifying mirror as well. That's scary, but it's the needs. So that's all in. Now what I do after each brush, I've got a spray uh, brush cleanser. So that's on, on a mat. So I spray the brush, a couple of squirts, and then I um, just give it a, a wipe over after every time. It just keeps your brushes fresh and every now and again, I, I give them a good deep clean. This one was out of, um, an ad, a beauty advent calendar that looked fantastic. Well, I've got a bit of foundation there. Um, and the, I don't particularly like the smell, but it does the job. So when I've used that up, I will buy the MAC one. So the next one, um, number seven recommended this Hydra Luminous Dark Circle Concealer. And it's from number seven. And it's got um, a sponge on the end. So Ariane always says, look down when you put your concealer on and do it as strikes, stripes, strikes. I'm trying to go as quick as I can so as you're not gonna be bored. So that's that one. And then pat it in um, so as you're not wearing. Um, this one you can use over your eyelids as well. So if you're patting it in, you're not wiping it away and get as close to your eyelids as you can without going in your eyes. I've always got dark bits just in that corner there. I'm doing this exactly as um, Ariane told me. Um, she's absolutely fabulous. If you've not signed up to her Instagram, I definitely would... Uh, recommend it she normally does lives every monday and she's often looking for people to do lives with because we've all got our things haven't we that we like you know problems mine was uh bronzer believe it well believe it or not 
I imagine a lot of you think that. This is Ariane Pools. Um, and she did send me some products to use um, in the live and these this was one of them this is called P passionate pink contour powder duo so there's a bronzer and a blusher so she uses a big brush for the bronzer she goes over the forehead forehead under the cheekbone always tap the excess off under the cheekbone, down the nose, on your chin and along the jawbone and you can see that's not too much either so I'll give that a quick spray and a wipe to dry off and I think by cleaning your brushes regular you're not transferring any excess oil into your brushes and they're being kept clean. Right, eyebrows next. Um, oh, that's a lip liner. <laughs> so I always brush mine down first. And your aim is to get them looking roughly the same. And just slightly go over. I haven't got a discount card for Ariane's um, page, but if you, uh, uh, for a, she's got a website. If you go onto a website and sign up for the newsletter, you'll get 15% off your order. So um, if anybody wants to know any products that I'm using, I'll put the links in. Um, so that's that. So that's my brows. I am using the castor oil on my brows at the moment. Um, I'm using that one. I saw one of somebody advertising that one. It's from Amazon and it's the the Bio Noble Organic Castor Oil, 100% uh, pure and cold pressed. Um, it, it is actually nice. So what I do, I actually put it under my eyes because I saw somebody else doing that. And I uh, put a touch of my eyelashes and some on my eyebrows and it's not uber oily you're not it's not getting in your eyes um so uh we'll see if i get any results back from that this is number seven flawless finishing press powder translucent now what i do because i've got oily eyelids i put some of this on my eyelids um as a base Because then it's my eyeshadow goes on better um, and then if you've got any oily um, areas that, that you don't want shining you can always use it for that quick spray on the brush and that's that uh, right eyeshadow this is Ariane Pools this is one that she sent to me and it's called Amethyst and she said with my grey hair and my colouring that this is a good basic all-rounder for everybody. Uh, anybody can wear this. She also sent me a brush. So I'm gonna go in and I'd rather start off light because um, you can always add more. I watched the video again, as I say, last night to remind myself because you kind of slip uh, into your own ways. So, so she said for my eye shape I need to go up at this point and obviously with your hooded eyelids or droopy eyelids whatever they're called I can't remember that bit um, you want to see your eye shadow so look straight ahead in the mirror 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 and same with this one You could go heavier if you wanted, but um, that's not me. I think it's nice to try something new and especially to have somebody like Ariane recommend things. She's got brown eyes as well. So I always tend to, when I watch her, um, I tend to think, well, that might suit me. And she's going grey now as well. So, uh, just a bit more on that corner. It's 
So that's that. I love that colour. See, that's not too um, out there, is he? So, on my brush. And then she sent me um, this pencil. It's called Amethyst. Um, and she said to... Now, I'm going to have to use my mirror for this one. Um, to just softly go over but not right to the end and just smudge it so as it doesn't look too harsh and she she said either in the the uh, waterline or as close to your lashes as you can but i struggle to um let me do the other one And by smudging it, if you've made any mistakes, you sort of, you can't tell once it's done. So that, again, that's just very subtle. You can always add some more if you want to. I'm trying not to do my makeup with my mouth open, because we all do that, don't we? I don't want to look like uh, nobody owns me. <laughs> so that's that one. Um, what else am I doing? Right, mascara. Oh, I've got the wrong one out. Let's have a look. Oh. Oh, I'm sure I've got the right one out. I've kept them separate because the black one's in my part. This is navy. And I tell you, this is really subtle. It's not um, a strong navy. Uh, it really is nice. I mean, you can see that. And again, this is one Ariane sent me. She was really generous um, with what she sent to me. I should do this in front, shouldn't I? That's that. <clears throat> then the other one. So I say, have a look on the website, sign up to the newsletter. Uh, and she has various offers on throughout the year. So if you want to be stocking up on things. Can't wait to get my hair done. As I say, getting my hair done now is a real treat rather than sitting there having a colour. Much prefer it. That's that. You could go over with another coat if you wanted, but. Uh, it's daytime, so don't want to go too mad. Um, next up is the blusher. Oh, have I smudged her? No, I haven't. Uh, so she always says, go from your apple of your cheeks and go back. Um, you don't go up because you're, you're sort of pointing to your any lines and things you have so you don't want that and the whole point of your blusher was um 
uh, not your blusher, your bronzer, but to just put under your cheekbones. Now this is going to go over. And although it seems as though I'm coming in a bit close when your hair's down, um, you're not going to see this bit, are you? And we saw this, I saw this on somebody else's um, makeup tutorial about the apples of your cheeks. Um, and I told my daughter, and so she's been doing it ever since. And it does actually make a difference. You do feel a bit more glowing. So that's that. My brush spray. Quite a lovely day today. I've actually pegged some washing out for the first time. Um, keep looking out at it, uh, blowy. Does anybody else do that <laughs> or is it just me being sad? So, uh, yeah. So, I've, so, and now this lip gloss is another Ari Ample, which she sent to me and I absolutely love it. Uh, I would never have chosen that colour myself. Um, I tend to go for like brownie, bronzy colours, uh, but this is gorgeous. Now, I prefer to put it on with a lip brush to start with. Uh, look at me. I'm an old makeup artist. And I know it's different when you're out, you just take that. But um, I've actually got some, I had some, um, what is it, Saint-Tropez oh, spray, um, Purity Self Tan. So I've been giving myself a little square to this of the morning. Now, if, you, um, if your eyeshadow's gone down there, what I tend to say, is just put a dab up there and it cleans it up get a cotton wool bud and roll it and it lifts it And the thing is with Ariane, she's um, she's like, she's just a bit older than me, um, but she's, um, so I think it, she relates to the older woman as well. Let's have a look, I don't know how my hair's going to be, because my fringe needs cutting. See, my fringe is dead long, and it's parting where it wants to go. So yeah, that, that's my um, makeup this morning. Um, I'll give you a quick run through. So that was number seven, Intelligent Foundation. Um, number seven, Hydra Luminous um, Dark Circle Concealer. That's in shade one and a half. That's what they recommended to me, 1.5. This is the Fair to the Light. Um, I'll stand up. Amethyst Eye Pencil, um, this is a Dior lip brush because it's a white lip liner which is good if you wear red lipstick. Uh, Ariane Pearls Lip Gloss in Rosé. Number 7's Flawless Finishing Press Powder in Translucent. Um, Ariane Pearls Navy Mascara. Uh, Ariane Pearls Amethyst Cream Shadow. And it, it does increase as well, so it's absolutely brilliant. I think that's all I used. Oh, and the most important thing, the Passion Pink Colour Powder Duo Ariane Pool. There. And my primer was Estee Lauder Futurist Aqua Brilliance Watery Glow Primer. So if you've enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. 
um if you want any other comments there's the pad off my makeup brushes <laughs> um if you like want to know anything just ask me in the comments and uh if you haven't already subscribed if you could that would be brilliant and other than that enjoy the rest of your day and i will catch you later bye